This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. I just want to comment uh, firstly on the day of action today by uh, Public Service Alliance uh, Canada and uh, obviously indicate our, our disappointment. Uh, we are a government that is focused on creating more private sector jobs in our economy, more economic growth. We have a, a fair and reasonable and sustainable plan to make sure the government spends within its means. Uh, and we are executing that plan. We think uh, a reduction of 4% of uh, public sector uh, numbers in the, in the public service is uh, fair and reasonable and moderate. Uh, and of course, uh, we are uh, intending to focus on growing jobs in the, in the wider economy. That's what part of part of that doing that is, of course, having a balanced budget uh, in the federal government. So that is our intention. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate we do not have the partnership of the uh, union bosses in this regard, but we will do uh, what we promised to do during the election campaign and, of course, in the best interest of the country. Can I ask you? I don't have a second driver, but uh, I, I have one driver, but uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have uh, ministers work long hours, and uh, frequently drivers have to work the hours that the minister is working, so they have to uh, stand by. Uh, we also, of course, uh, have a taxable benefit that we pay uh, for the use of that vehicle that comes off uh, the paycheck of every minister, and I think that's fair and reasonable as well. But you're raising an important question, uh, which we take seriously. We're always looking for ways to deliver better services for us to the taxpayer, and that could be one area that we can look at. Some, some ministers put have their exams. Yeah, yeah, uh, and uh, that means, uh, of course, uh, that uh, they don't pay the overtime, but the, the, the salary could be a different kind of salary. So you have to balance these things out. Uh, and uh, certainly what we are doing in my case and many other cases where it is not an exempt staff, uh, we, uh, we comply with the collective bargaining rights of that, of that particular individual. And, uh, that's the right thing to do. But you're raising a question of, you know, is there a better way to, to deal with these uh, uh, these employees and to deal with the requirements of ministers who work long hours? And, and that is a very good question. So, Mr. 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 Mark Carney. Look, at, let me let me say a couple of things. First of all, our reductions are fair and moderate. I think four percent of the workforce uh, is not unreasonable in these times to get us back to balance. Uh, Seventy percent of our staff reductions have been in packed office and administrative positions, not in fact frontline at all. We've made it clear in all of these cases that for the services that Canadians depend upon, uh, they have been red circled. They are not part of our, of our reductions. And so I think that is a moderate, fair. Let me just say, in the case of the notices that went out yesterday, including Statistics Canada, it's the same process of workforce adjustment, which you know, and I'm counting on you to explain this to your uh, to the people that follow you, uh, that, of course, you send out notices, but not all those people are going to be laid off. There is a, a wider class of people who are potentially affected, but, of course, at the end of the day, will not be affected by those yeah, and you know we have done that, and, and of course what we do is we we let those employees know first, and, uh, and of course we're responsible for accounting for that in the Parliament. But as I said to you earlier, uh, when you look at the broad range of reductions we've done, seventy percent of them are back to office and those positions. We try to make sure that the programs uh, that the Canadians count on are not going to be affected in a negative way. Minister, you can say with great assurance that seventy percent are back to office. We're not hearing clearly. Well, we in fact are. If you look at page 213 of the budget, we had a nice chart there, looked at it department by department. Uh, and then as we roll out uh, the notices to affected employees, we, we really do feel that our first obligation uh, as an employer, uh, through our collective bargaining agreements as well, is to notify the employee. And then, of course, we are responsible to Parliament. And so we will be seeing uh, over uh, the next few months and years, as we roll out our quarter view reports and our, our estimates and other reporting mechanisms, that uh, we are reporting on, on the budget, very similar to what we did under strategic review last year. 